Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. We all know police officers exist to enforce laws that our government deemed best to keep us safe and orderly. They're here to keep everything going well. When we see them in uniform, we should feel great, like everything's working like it's supposed to. But that's far from the truth in a lot of instances. These days, we see a lot of discord about police behavior and misuse of authority, and it's always that much more shocking when we see it on camera. Whether they're beating civilians, arresting kids, or asking for hush money, it's truly disgusting to feel like you're a witness to things authority is capable of. In this video, we're going to highlight just 10 crooked cops caught on camera. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us of other instances of cops behaving badly that you know of. Number 10. Just give me some money. This police officer in Johannesburg stopped a couple for allegedly drunk driving. The video doesn't start from the very beginning of the encounter, so it's hard to know everything, but we do see the man in the car set the leading question, which he must have known was going to get a bite. So, what choices do I have? What are my choices? Which is when the officer lays out that he could just pay 200 rand, about 12 US dollars, and even though he's drunk, he'll get off. But see, the man doesn't appear drunk at all. The Johannesburg officer seems to agree, too, after the couple notifies him that they've been recording the entire exchange and would just love to get his badge number. Oops. So what happens if I say, can I get your badge number? My badge number? Yeah. You want my badge number? Yes. Okay. Be because you are now, uh, she's recording. Okay, no problem. I want to find your badge number well, you want to because you've just said that 200 bucks will sort anything out. Number nine, I'll just take this. This video is so wrong, it's almost funny. During a hearing, the man accused stands next to his lawyer in front of the judge facing the music of whatever crime he's been accused of. Behind them, a police officer stands dangerously close to the defendant's table where all his paperwork lies. He seems to read over the papers, very interested. Then, suddenly, he grabs one of the pieces of evidence. The video cuts out and we see another officer take the paper away. What just happened? How is this anywhere in this man's job description? Of course, after being asked to hold a press conference and apologize, which he declined, he was held in jail for 10 days. Had it not been for the camera, this would probably just have been another day on the job. Number 8. Crooked Cop versus a YouTuber Leave it to a YouTuber to have a camera set up in his car. A cop pulls Chris Kalbaugh over at a DUI checkpoint and he starts asking the officer questions about whether or not he'll be detained. He's shrugged off, the cops forcing him to get out of the car and watch as they use a canine unit to justify probable cause to search the vehicle. Even though it's a DUI checkpoint, they never actually try to see if he's consumed alcohol or ask any questions about it at all. These crooked cops seem very interested in finding something else. Lo and behold, as soon as they realize that Chris has a camera in the car catching the entire thing on video, the officers let him go. Chris wasn't about to keep quiet about it either, so he uploaded the video and this cop became one of America's most disliked people within a few days. Pull over to the side right there. Am I being detained or Pull am I free to go? Pull over to the side right there. Okay, step on out. Am step I, out. So I'm being detained? Either pull over the other side Number 7. Exposed Most of the time, crooked cops just misuse their authority to get benefits, whether those benefits are cash, credibility, or even power. Sometimes, though, cops are just bad people. This guy, for example, is a classic infiltrated weirdo. The thing about being a cop is, whether you're in uniform or plain clothes, you have an image to uphold. You're an officer of the law, on duty and off. Officer Adam Fritz exposed himself to little girls who were, at that time, on their way to church. He showed them his penis and asked for directions. Like, don't mind my penis, where's the nearest McDonald's? Officer Fritz was picked up and charged after being caught on surveillance tape. Number 6. Cop Steals Man's Pay This one makes me really angry. When you call the police saying there's a man in the area, the last thing you expect is for the officers who show up to then turn on you, pepper spray you, and steal your money. 
When the police showed up expecting to find an armed assailant but saw nothing, they proceeded to search the same people who had made the call. They put a man up against the fence, searched him, found money in his pocket, which later turned out to be $1,300, and you can catch the moment when the officer pockets the money. Everyone on the scene tells the cops that what he's doing is just wrong, but they just end up on his bad side. The worst part is, it seems that they never got resolution either. You see this? Number five, planting evidence. Number five is a classic bad cop you'd see in a movie. Luckily, surveillance cameras can still save the day. In this instance, an undercover cop visited a smoke shop supposedly under instruction to plant evidence. He walks in with his hands inside his jacket pockets, looking pretty shady, in fact. He seems to ask the shop owner for something, and while the shop owner's eyes are averted, he walks over to the side of the register and drops a small bag of crack cocaine on the counter. That amount of crack could have put the shop owner away for up to seven years. Thanks to CCTV footage, though, it's just showing how shady some police can be. The owner was arrested and in jail for five days before he could make bail. In the end, the police and DA refused to make a statement and even held on to the tapes for months before the defendant's lawyer was successful in obtaining them. Number four, speeding behind me. Do you know what's worse than a cop who hides on the side of the road to catch someone speeding? A cop who is speeding on the highway and then pulls you over for speeding behind him. It sounds crazy, but this crazy cop was going 85 miles per hour with no lights on. His leisurely speed was defiant, probably thinking no one would dare do anything about it. Our cameraman hero was not intimidated, even when he got pulled over by the squad car. He calls the cop out on blowing past him in 60 mile per hour traffic going at least 85. The police in that case are as much a danger to the roads as he supposedly is for following them, and he's the one getting pulled over. The officer's partner, who steps in to talk to him, quickly realizes he's got a point, and though they don't admit it, they certainly get real quiet and evasive. Do you think this driver had a point? Uh, you are traveling at 79 miles an hour behind me there. Sir, you were doing 85 miles an hour when you passed me, and uh, apparently that's against the law too. So where do you get off pulling me over for speeding when you flew past a bunch of traffic in 60 miles an hour, no lights, no lights, no siren? Number three, Canadian cop. Now, I know we're all over the stereotype that Canadians are great people. They may be, some are nice, they say sorry in that adorable way, but in every country, there's good people and bad people. In this case, good cops and bad cops. These two young American kids cross the border for a weekend, probably to take advantage of the 19-year-old drinking age on the other side of the border, and got stopped by a shady cop in the process. He tells them that their radar detector is illegal in Canada. That could be true as far as they know, but the next thing he says is what makes it all the shadier. Since you're not from here, you'll have to pay me now or else you'll get detained. For some reason, after talking to the cop for a couple of minutes, he lets it go and tells them they're getting a big break. It's no wonder why they posted that video afterward. Number two. There. Okay. $600 fine for that. Is it really? You get to seize your car. You get to seize it. And since you're not from here, you have to pay me now or else you get detained. You okay, me. No, I'm not. Number two. Cops don't have Ferrari money. There's getting caught red-handed and then there's driving to work in the Ferrari you bought with dirty money. When you're a cop and a criminal, you gotta act smart, and this guy just didn't get the memo. This guy from Birmingham, England was running a side business waiting for men outside of strip clubs to drive them to a brothel, where he then overcharged their credit cards for the services, skimming money from every transaction. As you'd guess, that cash added up quickly. Now, where could a crooked cop put his crooked money? Real estate? Stocks? No, he decided to buy a $250,000 Ferrari and then drive it to work. You know, his work, where a bunch of people catch criminals for a living. Not too smart there, buddy. 
Number 1. My breathalyzer don't lie. This Utah officer is actually the only woman on our list. She's a Utah Highway Patrol officer who actually looks cheerful and eager in her work photos. She's approachable, young, but little did you know, she's not who you want pulling you over. For some reason, she started building a habit of pulling people over and arresting them for drunk driving. Sometimes, she'd even carry out breathalyzer tests, which the suspects would pass, and she'd still arrest them. She tried the same tactic with accusations from DUIs, drugs, and even bogus speeding arrests. She did this so many times that the complaints were her downfall. People came together and began a class action lawsuit against her. In the end, it was found that she had done this to over 200 different people, and she was fired in 2012 for her actions. A class action lawsuit ensued, but no criminal charges were ever filed against her. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please remember to subscribe, click the bell, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, then share it with your favorite, or least favorite, law enforcement officer. Let us know if you've ever fallen victim to an officer who wasn't doing their job well. Hey, but also remember to give some kudos and words of thanks to those in law enforcement who do a great job every day protecting and serving the public.